What we do is under the umbrella of what we call abstractly basic science. And astronomy might appear to have nothing to do with our regular lives, but we should never forget that um, our regular lives involve everyday technology that if you trace it back and ask the question, what did this technology need to actually exist today? There is always real elements that go back to basic science. And in fact, surprisingly enough for many people, it goes back to astronomy. Our phones, our smartphones, I love using my smartphone to tell me when I really am desperate for a cup of coffee because I haven't slept enough, uh, to tell me where is the closest Starbucks to go and get my shot of coffee. And uh, for that to work, and the localization and all the mapping, et cetera, to work, uh, we needed to understand the motions of the planets down to the accuracy that is affected by Einstein's theory of general relativity. And the reason this mapping, GPS as we say, works accurately enough for me to find my shot of coffee when I need it is because Einstein, a hundred years ago, understood the theory of general relativity. If you asked Einstein a hundred years ago, why are you doing all this math? Nobody gives a damn, nobody understands your math, even physicists don't understand what you're doing. Could he tell you, I am doing this, so a hundred years from now you can find your Starbucks around the corner? Because there will be smartphones and there will be GPS needs in our military. Einstein could never give you this answer. The only answer Einstein could give you is because it makes me happy to do this math. And right now, we benefit from that. I cannot answer you why this discovery might, might, who knows, in 50 or 100 years, be useful in our everyday life. It's not going to be my everyday life and it's not going to be your everyday life. It's going to be our children's and grandchildren's everyday life. In what way? I have no way of knowing. I just do it because I love it.